Hey y'all, I just wanted to come on and pop a quick video for you guys. Um, so today I want to give a testimony about when God told me to quit my job. Okay, um, I know some of you, this is something he's instructed you to do. And it will be great, of course, when God is telling you to do something, not just to one have confirmation, but to hear from people who have walked in obedience to him and have done everything that he said to do and how it has worked out for them. So I was connected to a job last year and it was a very toxic work environment. I was hired as a contractor and it was a great pay. Um, in fact, it was a job where that was my best paying job to date at that time. Um, a lot of you know I'm an entrepreneur, so sometimes I work with companies as contractors, but I was connected in this position and it was one of the, it was literally the best paying job that I had had. But the environment was very toxic, right? It was very toxic. A lot of spiritual warfare was coming through the job. And I got to a point where I did get sick. Um, there were so many things going on. I'd gotten sick. I had already gotten dreams from the father about the toxic environment that I was in and how it was dangerous spiritually. Um, the job was only meant to be for a very short time, a season, like a bridge to go where he had me to go next. And sometimes God will do that. He will put something in your hand to do, but it's only for a specific time period. So when you're at the end of that thing, it's important to walk away. It's very important to walk away. So what ended up happening is I did get sick and I had to take some time off from work. And it was during that time. Um, I got another dream that when I go back, it's going to get even worse. And I was like, okay, God, well, exactly what am I supposed to do for continuous, you know, provisions and I said, how about I get a job first and then I move from this job? And a lot of times you'll try to bargain with God when God really wants to use that opportunity as an opportunity to show you his love, his hand of provisions, um, to develop trust with you. Um, so what happened is I did eventually leave. Um, I did develop some boldness. I decided to go for it in faith, even though I was on defense about it before. And I left. I went through a period of testing and God showing me how he was more than capable of keeping me through something challenging and difficult and I have to testify that the next contract I received after was two times bigger than the contract that I had before so this is a true life testimony story um, God kept me for the couple months before I got the next contract I didn't always have everything that I wanted but I had everything that I needed to survive, to be sustained on a day-to-day -day basis. Me, of course, and I have a daughter as well. So for those of you who have children and you're like, well, it's not just me, God will take care of them. There's no need to worry about that. So I want you to be confident and trust him. Okay, it is a, a, a journey, it's a process, and it's okay if you are scared. God understands this. Of course, he said he has not given us a spirit of fear, but it's okay if you feel scared. It's okay if you're like, well, this is something I really could do and be okay. Then you have to trust him. You have to trust him that he's God. And Jeremiah 29 11 says that his plans for you are good and not evil. He desires you to be successful and prosperous. God is not here with an agenda that you must fail on earth and not do well right that he's here with a great agenda and the plans that he has for you like i think it's first or second corinthians 2 9 you can check it out it says that eyes have not seen ears have not heard mind has not conceived the plan that god has for you so i want you to be encouraged to move forward in faith to do what he says to do and if he says to leave leave the same way he kept me it's the same way he will keep you he's no respective persons he doesn't have favorites he's not going to say i'm going to keep marie and i'm not going to keep Chantel, or you know jessica susie he, he's not saying that um he's a fair god and he rules with verity and justice as the word says so he will keep you and you will be okay you'll be good don't worry about it do what he says to do because had i not left i would have never received a contract which is paying me twice as much than what I had before and was not toxic like that 
it was not that type of overwhelm and overwork so be encouraged and i'll keep you all in my prayers take care